Hello, I'm Zach and I'm back with another bite-sized build video. In this video, I'm going to show you how I built this shop vac auto switch. When I do woodworking in my garage, I connect my shop vac to all my tools and this helps suck up all of the dust created when I make cuts. However, this requires me to remember to turn on the shop vac switch anytime I go to make a cut. This can get a little annoying. They make a device called an auto switch which helps with this problem and I plan to make one using an Arduino, a current sensor, and a relay module. First I'm going to wire up the electronics. I'm starting with an Arduino compatible microcontroller I got on eBay for a couple of bucks. If I'm going to be able to automatically turn on the shop vac, I need to be able to detect when the tool is turned on and running. Without modifying the tool, the best way to do this is to get a current sensor like the ACS712, which I also got on eBay for a couple of bucks. This sensor can read alternating or direct current up to 20 amps, which is perfect for what I'm going to be using it for. The sensor outputs an analog voltage between 0 and 5 volts that is proportional to the current it senses. I can read that analog voltage output with one of the ADC pins on the Arduino. Once I sense that the tool is running, I need to be able to turn on the shop vac. For that, I'm going to use a relay module like this. A simple high or low logic signal from one of the Arduino's digital pins is all that is needed to turn on the relay. I've made a couple of videos about relays. Click on the card in the upper right hand corner to watch those. Here is a schematic of the electronics. After I had soldered both modules to the Arduino board, I decided to model and 3D print an enclosure to help secure everything in place. With the enclosure complete, I was able to now insert the AC power receptacles. One receptacle will be for the tool, and the other will be for the shop vac. Having these two AC receptacles will make it easier for me to move this around my shop and plug in my various tools. I bought an extension cord to use for this project and cut off about 8 inches from the male end. Here is what the electronics looked like at this point of the build. Now it's time to write some code for the Arduino. I won't go into great detail here, but here's the basic rundown. The ADC pin on the Arduino has a 10-bit resolution, which means that it'll read values from 0 up to 1023. Since the AC712 is also designed to read alternating currents, the baseline value that the sensor reads when there's no current present is at the midpoint of 512. When I turn on the tool, the value alternates around 512. Bigger machines use more current, which means that value will fluctuate a lot more. I notice that when I turn on my table saw, the values alternate between about 300 and 700. What I need the Arduino to do is to sample the current for about a half second or so and get the maximum value. Since the current is alternating in a sine wave about 60 times a second, a half a second should be plenty of time for me to get enough samples to determine the maximum value. Once I've determined the max value, I compare it against a predetermined threshold. I'm using 520 for now. If the current sensor senses a value over that threshold, it will tell the relay to turn on the shop back. 
the code continues to read the current sensor value and keeps the shop back on while the tool is still running. As soon as the tool stops running, the current sensor will detect that and tell the relay to shut down the shop back. Here's a quick demonstration of this code. The last modification I want to make is to delay the shutoff of the shop back for about five seconds. This gives the tool enough time to spin down and collect any remaining dust that's still in the air. To do this, I simply keep track of the state of the relay and delay the shutdown of the shop back for about five seconds. I'll post a link for this code along with the schematic and the parts to build it down in the description. After I was satisfied with the code, I attached a lid to the enclosure and installed everything on my table saw. I'm going to demonstrate how this works. When I turn the table saw on, you'll notice that the shop vac will also come on at the same time. When I shut the table saw down, the shop vac will wait about five seconds, collecting any remaining dust, and then finally shut down. One of the great things about this design is that I can unplug my table saw and move this to other tools I have that require dust collection. That about wraps up this video. There's a couple other videos here for you to click on that I think you might enjoy. I make a lot of other project videos like this on my channel with the hope of encouraging people to make cool things. So if that's something you're into, please consider subscribing to Bite Size. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video and I hope to see you next time. And keeps the shop back on while the tool is still...